It is time now for Better Books. Whether you are looking for a new book to enjoy on a cold winter day or one that's going to make a great gift, there are lots of new reads to choose from. Lori Fazio from RJ Julia Booksellers has selected a few of her favorites to share with us today. Nice to see you. Hello. Happy holidays. You as well. Does it seem like, is this the time, because I've been hearing on the radio and all these celebrities are bringing in, is this the time where a lot of new books come out? Yes. The, the biggest books of the year come out usually September, October, maybe the beginning of November. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, and then and then they're there. So we're stocked up. I mean, the, the store is packed. They're packed. Oh, yeah. But okay. you also have wonderful gifts. Like we do. You have accessories yeah. and some great things for the readers and the non-readers alike. That's a great place to shop. Yeah, well, thanks. No, I appreciate I, I appreciate so you going there. <laughs> yeah, lots of little things all together. So what are your picks right now? So I thought I'd bring a little smattering of things. So the first one, the hottest book right now for us is the Michelle Obama yeah. Becoming. Yeah. I mean, it's just, it's fly. We have plenty of them, but it is something that everybody wants to read. And it is, I mean, it's not necessarily politically charged, but obviously there's, there's some yeah. of her story in there. But she's just so real and down to earth and the book is you know pretty much exactly like she is is there any hint in there that she's gonna run for president not that I have found yet. I haven't finished it yet, but I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> It'd be interesting to see. Right. Yeah. And then I brought Leanne Moriarty's book. So Leanne Moriarty did Big Little Lies, which was not only a big book, but then it became the big HBO series, and they're doing the second series now. This is her new book um, called Nine Perfect Strangers. Leanne Moriarty books are, are great for if you just want to read something fun. interesting and fun, and you don't you know, necessarily want to analyze everything. Yeah. Um, and she just... She does a great job of keeping you guessing and moving and yeah, her books are fun. They're yeah, good. Yeah, I love that. I'm looking for something light and, you know, something I can just not... Yeah, she's she's great for that. Okay, cool. Yep. And family celebrations, that sounds apropos for this time of year. It is. So what I liked about this is that it has um, graces in there, it has blessings in there, oh, it nice. has ideas for what to do, and it has some general things, but then it also breaks it down um, by holiday, and they, they have like, you know, 12 different holidays in there of some ideas and things that you can do and... It was, it's just a nice book. And yeah. for this time of year, it's great for, to bring as a little hostess gift. That's perfect. You know, yeah. you're always looking it, for something other than the bottle of wine. And right. that sounds like a It's right really up lovely. Although yeah. I know you want the bottle of wine. Well, you can bring that and the bottle you of can, wine. You can, know, that, right. You can do both. You, you can probably both. toast yeah. the bottle yeah. of wine. That's, that's a little expensive. <laughs> All right. Meet the latkes. Yes, yeah, so <laughs> Hanukkah's right around the corner. So this is a great picture book. It's very funny. It's. Yeah, exactly what it sounds like. Meet the Latkes. It's their little family story of, this uh, is of Hanukkah. This fantastic. It is really, really cute. Oh my God! And this they is have so the, they, they look like the you know the they different. They are cute. Really, their personalities come out, and it's very funny. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I love do. this. This is really terrific. Adorable. The they're kids. just like you and me, except they're potato pancakes. <laughs> 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 All right, next up, uh, Over the River? Yeah, so I mean, I always sing Over river, over the River and Through the Woods to Grandma's House We Go Absolutely. on Thanksgiving. This is a beautiful book, um, and it really, it's this, this the song, um, but the illustrations are just really, really sweet, and it's fun, you know, to... They bring them to the grandmother's house, and they see all things along the way, and the animals in the forest. Isn't and, that terrific? And it's, it's just, I mean, for it's me, I, I wanted to bring it because it is... You know what I remember? I mean, literally, I sang that. Under Over the river and through the wood yes. to grandmother's house we go. Exactly. A horse knows the way to carry the sleigh through the white and drifting snow. I also had to bring it Wonder. because I knew Scott would sing. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, and what if you just want a snowy nap? <laughs> right, well, so Jan Brett, and so uh, Jan Brett is just, I mean, her illustrations, her stories, they're second to none. They're beautiful. This is about a little hedgehog taking oh, wants to take to I take a snowy nap. Her the illustrations in here are absolutely stunning on every single page. Um, and Jan is coming this weekend um, to sign and read. You're kidding. She oh, is. So, nice. so I had to bring this because you know you have a chance to get your book signed. We'll have other oh, books, you know, for sale, and you know a chance to to see and hear her is pretty special. See, like I have goosebumps because it's bringing me right back to my childhood. Yeah. You know, so so a nice. book like this. So she nice. is great. So we're really fortunate. She's she comes this weekend and. Um, down in Madison. So oh, many I wonderful author events, and that's what's great about an independent bookstore. And then you've got another one that's so I brought. So I brought one more because you you probably remember I talked about Grumpy Bruce. Yeah. Um, and so and there's so many you know stories now with Bruce, and so now there's Santa Bruce. And Grumpy Bruce was um, he. he 
wanted to like ha uh, eat his goose eggs, but they hatched and imprinted on him, so he became their dad, oh. right? Uh. And so he's still with the goose and all the animals, and now they want him, he puts on his um, little pajamas to go shovel, and he gets mistaken as Santa. How funny. So, and I brought this also because Bruce, the character, is actually coming on December 1st. Oh, wow. And he's going to sign with his paw print um, as we do a special story time. That is So wonderful. it's very fun. And he is just so cute. I love him. Yeah. He's one of my favorite characters. That's great. And it's a way to make reading fun for kids. Thank yeah. you so much, Laurie. Thank December you. 1st, happy, happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. All right. Thanksgiving. Yeah, you too. Happy Thank Thanksgiving. You. You're going to find these books and many more at R.J. Julia Booksellers located on Boston Post Road in Madison. You can also look for books and order them online at R.J. Julia. Com. You can also check out the uh, Wesley and RJ Julia bookstore. That's on Main Street in Middletown.